Jeremiah 44, 19, and then Wisdom of Solomon 14, 12. We'll, we'll let it start up for a little bit. That's what you Hey, right, Shalom. We come out here week in and week out, prophesy the downfall of America, and also to wake up the, our so-called people, the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. I say so-called because right now, most of our people are not our people, man. All right? We're only out here for the elect, but the gospel still has to be preached to everyone. But, hey, without further ado, going to give our honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakan, All right, Yahweh is the only true powerful and holy name of who you ignorantly refer to as God. All right, and in likewise manner, Yahweh Shah is the only true powerful and holy name of who y'all ignorantly refer to as Jesus Christ. All right. all right, and speaking of that, uh, speaking of Jesus Christ, all right, uh, Jesus Christos, all right, today is so called Easter, man. All right, and Easter Sunday. Now, you got our people going off today, man. All right, because hey, uh, like the scriptures say, the uh, the um, the device and the idols was uh, the beginning of spiritual fornication. So us devising idols and taking on other gods, okay, preferably of the other nations. But, you know, you got Jake now making up their own gods and saying that they're gods. But nonetheless, going away from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's when the, the falling away started, man. All right, us starting to fall away from our power because we, uh, and that's why the Lord put us away when you go into the book of Hosea, okay? That whole, that book was talking about us as a people, okay, um, commit spiritual adultery, Okay, but then the Lord coming back and accepted us, man. And that's the whole story. All right, we committed spiritual adultery by being in those harlot houses on Sundays. All right, the scriptures, the scriptures speak about those Sunday church houses as harlot houses, man. All right, because you don't find no truth in it. All right, you, you go eat a pork chop sandwich after, which is against the law. Hey, it's against, it's against uh, the Bible, man. Pork? Yep, pork. That's good. That's good. Pork is against the Bible. Uh, get, you know, get, that's a good thing, man. Get the shape up, but. In those uh, harlot houses, man, the preacher's not going to tell you the truth because nine times out of ten, they're under a 501c3 charter, which is a tag and zip code, all right? Uh, and the higher-ups tell them what to preach. They're not going to tell you that the so-called Black Latinos and Native Americans are the so-called, oh, oh, are the Israelites. Not the so-called Israelites, are the Israelites, all right? And that uh, the Black Latinos and the Native Americans are the Israelites. So we're from, we're Judah. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So I thought Negroes is Judah. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're from, uh, yeah, most of us down south, but what about yeah. the Caucasian? The Caucasians are um, a race of people known as the Edomites. So, all right, it's Esau. Esau. Yeah. All right, it's Jacob and Esau. Uh, are you familiar oh, with? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, One yeah. came over with red and hairy all over like right. a garment. Right. But he wasn't. Let's talk about him being hairy, but they used to dye garments. In Basra, uh, uh, they used to dye goat skin red. So basically, he came out red. He was the first person that was void of melanin. Because he was stripped of his melody. Okay, okay so yeah, and, and he still walks around here today. The people think that Edomites. He, Edomites, yeah, the Edomites are still walking around here today. The so called white men are the Edomites. The ones that has the. So where did white come from? White, nobody's white. Where That's the thing. Come, actually, where did, where did it come from? Oh, oh, well, no, go ahead, bro. Okay. You're talking about the term white, I think. Yeah, uh, it was a term of basically yeah. empowerment. Now, when they say themselves as white, you look up white in the dictionary, it has every. Uh, positive connotation right. like a pure holy but then you look up black what they deem as black what is every negative connotation right, right? so basically it's a form of uh you know usurping authority and right. you know making you less of it you know that's where it came from because nobody's on the planet earth is white or black where did nigga come from <laughs> nigga what's the word uh nigga really mean dark skin because uh yeah you, it's, in, it's in the scripture the word nigga from river um, Niger, but yeah. they could not say Niger. Yeah. They said nigger. But what does Niger mean? Huh? Because Niger, because Niger's the river, in the Bible. Nigger is in the Bible. Yeah. Dark. Niger. Yeah. It's not nigger. It's called Niger. So it's black people considered us as black people. Yeah. 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 Ye
dirty like that river. Yeah. Nigga, you a nigga. Yeah. That, that kind of dirty. Yep. Nigel. Mm-hmm. When white come from a plague. You said a plague? White came from a plague. Yeah, he would yep, eat yep, Now, yep, see, the yep. thing is, when you go through history, you got to be uh, familiar with history because everyone that, that way has nature, so- the way it is. Yeah, every, nature. everyone that uh, everyone that has so-called you know uh, skin that's uh, void of melanin um, isn't necessarily an Edomite because I look at him, he got a uh, red uh, tint to. He might be uh, his line might go back to an uh, Israelite because we took over the lands of Ireland and Scotland. That's why they have that little uh, reddish hue. Toward their, uh, you know, after okay. years of laying down white women, yeah, they lost their melanin to a certain degree, but uh, we're Israelites through the spirit. So, so do you, do you agree with the, um, the ideology that nationalized Islam and the grafting of the white man? Do y'all believe no, in that? We don't believe nothing that, uh, that's in the nation of Islam. Really? The only thing that we go by is the Holy Scripture because when you look at the, uh, the Quran and the but nation of Islam, like- it's, plagiarized, it's basically plagiarizing the Bible horribly. They just plagiarize the Bible. That's all they do. And I got that precept to show the elder gentleman that I was looking up mm-hmm. about the term nigger, where it came from. Acts chapter 13 and 1. Yep. Now, they were in the church that was in, at Antioch, uh-huh. certain prophets and teachers. These are Israelite men, uh-huh. dark skinned men. Mm-hmm. And Barnabas yep. and Simeon, yep. that was called nigger. You're going to look it up right there. Uh, and, uh, and they called him nigger because he was a person with dark skin. That's the dead Edomite. He got it fast. He said so. Oh, oh, so that's that's it. It. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, we coming back to yeah, it feels good, man. It feel good, man. We coming back to our heritage, man. Yeah. It feels good to come back to our heritage, yeah. man. Yeah. All right, this is not this is not this is not something that we just made up yeah. in, or a club or a yeah. fad, man. Yeah. This is our actual biblical nationality according to the holy scriptures, man. Yeah. And you can see that we're on the cusp of your house returning because you got even average church going jakes yeah. in suit and ties yeah. happy yeah. that uh that, that, that to point out edomite yeah. man yeah. and spiritually they yeah. know that yeah. edomites are going into slavery yeah. they know that yeah. and you he know learned that shit. he got it quick he's yeah. like oh so hold on we're we jacob okay he's all right he's yeah. uh, edomite why he's a, oh okay. so that's edomite, that's edomite. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, he's not Sorry, bug it out. Yeah, man, it feel good. It feels good, man. Don't let that eat him, man. Right. That's why we don't even like using the term so-called uh, white, man. Right. Yeah. You're an Edomite, man. We're gonna call you your nationality. Right. And then and we yep. know the uh judgment and future of Esau Edom. So that's all yep. you gotta do. That's all you gotta, you gotta do. Yeah, and they hate that. If you call Esau <laughs> like I remember back uh back you know a couple years ago yeah. when we used to call Esau uh Esau to his face, they'll just turn beat red and get mad, man. Why is that? Because they know spiritually that they're the Edomites and they're doomed for, uh, uh, you know, slavery, man. All right? Okay, um, so yeah, let's, uh, uh, all right, what's going on, sir? What's going on, man? Not yeah, much, man. We just out here to tell our people, quiet. the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans that they're the children of Israelites. Oh. Now, you came up. Now, just because... That's it, me right there. Man. Okay, oh, well, all right, there you go, see? Yeah, okay, there you go. And I was going to go into basically... Uh, just because you don't look like a so-called black Latino or yeah. American doesn't mean that you're not an Israelite. Yeah. You know, because it has been a lot of mixing between the nations. So. Y'all got a website or something? Uh, yeah, we got a uh, YouTube yeah. channel. Yeah. Yep. Check me out, man. I want y'all to get on my channel, too. You got Instagram? Uh, nah. Uh, we have to like yeah, I got YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get, 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 get me out, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, Men of Valor. Yeah. Men of Valor. Yeah. Uh, D-A-L-O-R. South Carolina, South Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what he grabbed it out. Okay. Yeah, that would have been his Prince of Pop. Yeah, you'll see my. You'll see my. Once you grab it out, you'll start getting this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize Seminole Indians. Okay, so we do music here. We produce. Okay. We perform. Okay. So, yeah. Keep me out, man. Let's go. I'm gonna subscribe to you. Yeah, I'm gonna subscribe to you. Yeah, all right, man. All right, man. Do the All right. Yeah, man. See, hey, Israel coming all shapes and forms, man. You can tell that. You can tell us it's like, man. You know how he came up all cool, man. He wasn't stopping. I don't know about the other dude. Yeah, I don't know about him. I got you. I don't know about Grady. Bring one out, bro. All right, go ahead. Uh, for that, because um, you got a lot of people inquiring, man. We not know the other groups, right? That. Uh, so just because you look like uh, yeah. Edomite, and we were just getting on Esau, so that don't mean you know we our, our hatred for Esau, right? right? It ain't right. that sweet over here, right? 
But we're not going, oh, no, nah, you don't look like no Israelite now. Yeah. Oh, this is John 7 and 24. Right. Judge not according to the appearance, uh -huh. but judge righteous judgment. That's right. Hey, so we don't judge according to the uh, um, to the appearance, man. Yep. All right. Hey, yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shah? Doesn't judge on the outward appearance, man. He looks on the inward man. Like I told him, yep. all right, I didn't want to get it mixed up, yep. but I basically told him that, you know, uh, we, uh, what the, the, the Jake before that, you have to be an Israelite spiritually first, and your spirit right, has bro. to be that of an Israelite. And then yo, some, and then most of the times your flesh is gonna follow suit, but sometimes it, it's not. Man. That's why that mixed multitude, okay, that was speaking all types of uh, tongues and from nations. Those were uh, the nations that we were scattered in, because that was that's a curse going back to Deuteronomy 28. You know. So uh, okay, yeah, you got something good. Man. Yeah, First John four and one, but yep. love, believe not every spirit, yep. but try the spirits. Whether they are of the most high, because yeah. many false prophets are going into the world. That's right. So yeah, you gotta yeah. try a spirit, man. Yeah. Man, come up here, you try a spirit before you ultimately cast him off as a heathen. Right. Exactly. And then look, he came up with, with some music stuff, man. Yeah. Hey, that's growth in the spirit. We yeah. we just like, okay, yeah, we're yeah, 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 see? You know, yeah, yeah. Like, that's cool, that's cool. You know, little little music shit. Drake and they music shit. Now man. he might he got the brother channel. He might start following Brother Channel right. and totally get off of that shit he on. Right, know? right. I got something. Go ahead. Back you up. Romans 8 and 16. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are children of the most high. Yeah. So, you know, hey, you can feel you can feel another Israelite. Yeah. Like, you know, like, oh, that's an Israelite. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's harder than, you know, it's, like, it's, it's harder sometimes. But you can just be uh, a so-called uh, white looking boy or a white, a white boy or, you know what I'm saying, a goop. And then they got a little flavor to them or something like man you know that's that's an issue you know what i'm saying but yeah let's get back into the lesson I, um shit, I, uh that the jeremiah 44 and then i got that i got that wisdom solid 14 on there so yeah let me uh let me just get back into it but, um yeah this so-called day right here goes back to the uh goddess ishtar man okay it's because easter does not have anything to do with the resurrection of who you're in to call jesus christ all right and then also, if you count three days, that would be on Monday. Friday, if, if if Good Friday, he got crucified on Friday. All right, that is Saturday. That's one day. Sunday, that's two days. So the third day would be Monday. So you're not even not even following. Uh, you know, he's <laughs> not even following the scriptures, man. Yeah. If he rose on the third day, why are you celebrating on the second day? Because it fits on Sunday, sun worship. This all goes back to pagan uh, origins, man. All right. Uh, and the brother's gonna read about the uh, the queen of heaven, man. Uh, Jeremiah 44 19. Yep. And when we burn incense to the queen of heaven and pour out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her and pour out drink offerings unto her without our men? That's right. So there you go, man. The queen of heaven had, uh, and the worship of the queen of heaven has been around for a, a minute, man. All right, I, going back thousands of years ago, and everything repeats itself or comes back full circle, man. All right, reincarnation is a real thing, okay? And even these these uh these uh false idols and you know these spirits they come back, you know, <laughs> they come back around on the earth, man. So the queen of heaven worship, you got uh, people celebrating birthdays. Why do you why do you bake a cake? Okay, just told you, uh, it's like you uh used to bake cakes for Ishtar. All right, so. You know, hey, that's the Queen of Heaven worship. That's uh Mary, the Virgin Mary worship, especially with the Northern Kingdom. You go through their house, what, what you see, man? Yeah. The damn candles. Yeah, the candles. With Mary on it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, uh, hey, our people are gone uh, because of these idols, man. You know, and I got, uh, I got some. This is the book of. Oh shit! I'm gonna start at eleven. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter fourteen, verse eleven. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation, because in the creature of the Most High they are becoming abomination and stumbling blocks to the souls of men, and a snare to the feet of the unwise. All right, because these idols have become a snare to you people, man. All right, here we here, here you got it. It's 2022. All right, things are happening in the earth. Okay, and we only got a couple more prophecies till your house shall make his return. But y'all as uh, facing damnation. All right, aka those missiles, all right, or you know, dying without repenting, okay, dying in your sins because of uh Easter, man. All right, I mean, that's something that we was raised on, you know, but still, hey, if the Lord didn't, you know, uh, snap you out of that, it's gonna be a stumbling block to you, man. All right, because the Lord is getting angrier and angrier every 
every day with our people, but especially every year because we're out here telling y'all that this is wrong. You shouldn't be doing this, okay? So it comes to a point in time where the Lord is not going to wink at that ignorance no more because there's no more ignorance because you know, man. You know? Verse uh, 12, for the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and the invention of them, the corruption of life. So there you go. The devising of these idols, you know, um, was the beginning of spiritual fornication, man. And it was the reason why we started going off from our power, man. All right. It started uh, Egypt. You know, you had uh, certain Israelites um, worshiping Egyptian gods. All right. Uh, even in the wilderness, man, they had wrecked a golden calf to worship because they couldn't wait on uh, Moses to come back down. Man, come on, man. It, and our people still doing that today, man. Yeah, our, our people get these wicked customs from the nations that had us in bondage. That's, right. That's what makes the Heavenly Father even more mad at them because yeah. the customs that y'all getting, y'all, we are uh, holding them in honor of other gods, man, other yeah. heathen gods, man. Yeah. That's what makes it wrong. That's why it's just not, oh, it's just a... Oh, uh, this a day no. You are worshiping other gods, man. Uh, you was finished uh, on that? Yeah. I got something. You got something? Oh, yeah, I got one. Huh. It's Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse. Yep. Uh, I'll start at the top. Hear ye the word with Yahweh speaking unto you, O house of Israel. Mm -hmm. Thus say Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at it. So the Lord is speaking to the children of Israel, telling them, not to learn the way of the heathen. That's right. And the way of the heathen are these different um, holidays, man. That's right, bro. That's just one of the ways. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's hey, that's beautifully said, man. Well, that's one of the ways, man. Uh, these uh, these idols, you know. Um, this is Exodus twenty and three. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make. In, uh, I'm gonna stop it right there and, and read it. But hey, thou shalt not have no other gods before me. All right. So called Jesus Christ is another god, man. Going back to Serapis Christus. All right. You know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, this was this was, was arrested, I, uh, I believe, in the uh, Babylonian captivity, man. All right. And then, you know, they was adopted by the Grecians. All right. And then, hey, now you got, you know, Cesare Borgia, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, a.k.a. Serapis Christus, man. So it all goes back to Zeus worship. You know, this goes back to idol worship, man. And I guarantee you today when if I could ask uh, a random Jake, what picture you got in your mind when you think of Jesus Christ? Um, but like we were saying, hey, let us know if y'all can hear us too, brothers, don't they? Kind of. But um, you know, it's wicked when the multitude is doing it, man. Yeah, man. I right, when the whole when the masses of the people are doing it, yeah. you know what's going on. Hey, the scripture say, "Follow now, multitude to do." That's what I said. Yeah, he said that. Exodus uh, twenty three and two: Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in our cause to decline after many to rest judgment. So it's not good to follow the multitude to do evil, man. Right. All right? And these different high holy days are uh, examples of uh, evilness, man. Though it feels like it's nothing because you've been doing it your whole right. life, man. But right. you got to uh, snap out of what Big Mama say, man. Yep. Be your damn own man. Raise your own family. Exactly. Start your own family tradition as the Israelites, man. That's right. That's what brothers have done. Yep. Yeah, and you wonder why you know your uh your, your your people going through certain things, man, getting certain judgments, man. 
because they're not trying to come back to the truth. You know, I mean, it's sad. We don't want to see our people go through that type of stuff, man. But hey, they pretty much heap it on themselves when the Lord has been telling telling us to come back to him. All right, uh, told us why we was in a predicament and told us all we had to do to come back. And it's not being done, man. You know, so hey, they got to get what they get. But Lord willing, they come back, man. You know, um, okay, let's see. Uh, you got anything? No. Okay. Let me get. Uh, I got Leviticus 26. Hey, uh, this is Leviticus chapter 26 and verse one. Ye shall make you no idols nor a graven image, neither rear you up a standing image. Neither shall you set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your power. So there you go, man. You got our people that spiritually bowing to an idol right now, man. All right, when you sell it, when you take a whole day and you dedicate your energy, and, you know what I'm saying, to it, and you're doing the rituals, the, the things that uh, that day calls for, man, hey, that's you bowing to that image, man. That's you bowing to uh, this, this false idol, man. All right, and right now, uh, the majority of our people are bowing to Cesare Borgia, man. Okay? And it's going to follow suit because, hey, y'all going to ultimately bow when that hour of temptation comes, man, without without saying too much, man. You know? Uh, look at, uh, 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 1 Corinthians 10 and 20. I'll read the 21. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 20. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to the most high. Yep. And I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. That's right. So there you go, man. Now, when you look up uh, the word Gentiles, you got to know what context it's in, man. All right, it can either be the heathen or it can be the heathen of the nation of Israel. And I believe right there that's uh, talking about the heathen, man. They sacrifice to the devils, but the Lord said He doesn't want you to do that. They they, they can sacrifice to they to their gods, and, and that, that's what they're made for, man. The Lord ain't gonna look down on them because they sacrificing. Uh, I mean, sacrificing to you know what I'm saying a uh, 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 dumb idol, you know, because they don't have a power. They don't have Yahweh Bashir Yahweh Shai, man. So, hey, the Lord doesn't really look down upon them when they sacrifice the devils, but hey, they're gonna still get a punishment. And ultimately, in the kingdom of heaven, they're going to be sacrificed to Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shah, man. There ain't going to be no more false idols, man, in the kingdom. There ain't going to be no more Buddha. There ain't going to be no more you know, these thousands of gods that, that none of that is going to be Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shah. And if you don't get in line, you're going to get fucked up, man. Right? With that rod of iron. Yeah, that's why we're out here, man. To teach our people repentance, man. All right, because, hey, we want our people to repent, man. We want our people to say that, you know, they were wrong, they were duped. Just like we did, man. All right, we admitted to the Most High to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that we went off, and you know, with that comes um, uh, what is that? The sorrow of repentance. You feel sorrowful for what you've done to the Lord, and He loves to see that, and that makes um, that makes Him see that you actually care and that you feel in some type of way. Man. You got Jake that don't even care that Jake is gonna ride it out with sex with with Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ. To the, to, the, to the end, man. You know, they, they just gonna ride it out, right? They didn't really think that this man is our Lord and Savior. Man. That false idol. Right? Uh, I got one real quick. Uh, uh, this is Luke 14 and 23. And the Lord yeah. said unto the servant, Go out to the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be fulfilled. So like it. That my house may be filled. So that's why we come out on the highways and byways, man. Yeah. All right? where the people at and compel them to come into the house of the Lord, man. Yeah. All right? And what do you got to do? A step to take to come into that house of the Lord? Repent. Mm -hmm. That's right. I got something to back you up, man. This is 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people, which are called by my name, which are the Israelites, all right, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. So that's why we're out here hearkening to our people that you got to repent because the Lord is not going to take us back unless we repent. And that's why the Lord is only concerned about the elect, 
because the elect are repenting. And the repentance is not a, just a one-time thing. The elect are repenting every day, man. Because we, we, we fuck up and we go off every day. All right? Hey, like the script, like Isaiah the first chapter says, say, if it wasn't been for a remnant, we'd all been like Sodom and up to Gomorrah, man. All right? Uh, the mannerisms, what they were doing, but also that complete destruction that the Lord uh, put on Sodom and Gomorrah in those neighboring cities. We'd have been totally destroyed when those thermonuclear missiles fly over here, man. But, hey, through, through the spirit of Papi Abashim Yahushai, he reserved his elect to, to be the first, the forefront of Israel coming back and then to uh, be the ones that, to uh, let the other others of Israel come back in through their loins. It's beautiful how the Lord set it up. All right? Um, yep, so, yeah, that's why we all had to tell uh, tell our people to repent, man. Okay, not, you know, because we repent is a, an important part to, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah accepting us back as a people. Okay, uh, first John 1 and 9. Yeah, that's, hey, man, um, and Yahushua, uh himself, even, uh, he was champion repentance, man. He said, hey, uh, uh, time's at hand, repent. First John 1, first John 1 and 9. Right. This is First John, chapter 1, verse 9. Yep. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's right. All that unrighteousness that we've been going through that as a people, you know, going back to the garden, man. Hey, he will erase that from us, okay? That's a that's a uh, an infinite amount of, of uh, grace, man, and mercy. Because Israel, us, us as a people, we did some some crazy things, man. We did some off things, man. We, we uh, committed iniquity, man. Sin upon sin has just been piling up, you know? But hey, the Lord said He He will uh, forgive us if we uh, uh, bring that back. You still got it. <clears throat> First John one and nine. If we confess our sins, yeah. He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins mm -hmm. and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's right. So if we confess our sins, see how about shooting y'all shot? He's gonna cleanse us from our sins, man. Yeah. Just as I quoted earlier, He will wink at our sins. Yeah. And that's what a lot of our people don't want to do. Confess their sins. Yeah. Confess that you are wrong. Yeah. Confess that you need the Lord to guide you in these filthy bodies. See, brothers in the faith, faith in the faith, <clears throat> repentance is an everyday thing. So every day we confess to the Lord that we know that we need Him. We know that we need Him to help us uh, 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 not sin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We know that we need a physician, man. We need yeah. we need a, uh, that healer, man. Yeah. We need your house try to come back. All right. Uh, verse ten. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. Mm. That's why the Lord had to write that because he knows Jake will act all holier than thou. Say right Jake, now. all right. Say Jake, live a regular life. You go to work, uh, go home, don't don't eat, don't cheat on his woman so called. Uh, don't smoke, don't drink, go to church. Say he don't do nothing. That man will probably feel at like, home sin, but he worshiping damn sins for his year, worshiping the woman. Doing every high holy day that Babylon the great guy, you see? Mm -hmm. Yep. It ain't just the thugs, gangbangers that need to repent, man. Right. Right. Come on, bro. Hell yeah. Um, shit. Uh, hey, that's crazy. I was looking for that. I was going to tour 19, man. I was tweaking. Man, I was trying to find that. chapter 3 and 19 uh -huh. repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshment shall come from the presence of the lord there you go so it says repent repent ye man all right that you may be converted are right, we trying to get converted to these spiritual bodies man we trying to get converted to uh it's like um read that read that again bro it's like Have some. I can get it. I got it. Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. That's right. And we're uh in the time of refreshing right now, man. All right. The, the um it's gonna be totally refreshed when your house shall come back. All right, and then 
we waiting on that new heaven and that new earth, man. Okay, that refreshing is gonna come spiritually and it's gonna be a, 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 a physical refreshing, man. All right, and what's the ultimate clean cleansing agent? Fire. fire. So, hey, this this world's gonna grow out by fire, man. All right, um, uh, yeah, oh, let me uh, yeah, it says to be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So, that's why we are harboring upon uh, repentance, man. All right, and it takes it takes a uh, uh, I ain't gonna say well. It takes a, a man of the Lord, but it also takes a woman, all right, a real woman to 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 repent and be like, you know what? I've been led astray. Big woman told me wrong. My cousin told me wrong. My husband, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna come back to the lost as friends. We actually have aqua that's doing that, man. So hey, it, this ain't nothing. I'm just making up. We got aqua that have that are repenting. All right, hey, and also hey, women outnumber men, so it's gonna be a lot more women than than the men. You know, gotta bring Israel back somehow, ain't it? That's right. That's right, bro. Uh, this is Ezekiel 14 and 9. What's it like? Ezekiel 14 and 6. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus said Yahweh power, Repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations. That's what... That's what the Heavenly Father is telling Israel. Read again, Ezekiel 14 and 6. Therefore, I say unto the house of Israel, Just say, Yahweh power, repent and turn yourself from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations. All right? And that's what the Heavenly Father wants Israel to do. That's why he said, Hey, I'm talking to the house of Israel, man. Turn from your idols and your abominations, man. Because Esau even has put all these idols and abominations on Israel, man. Put them in your face, talk to them real good. Got to acting like straight uh, Romans. Yeah. We're Romified, man. We got to put off Rome, man. All right? Yep. But, uh, man. Yeah, we got to put off this uh, place, man. And it's basically a combination or a combination of. It's basically a combination, man. Of all of those uh, captivities that we've been in, hey, all of it's mixed into one over here in Rome 2.0, man. You know, all the idols from Babylon, Greece, Persia, uh, Syria, all those idols, man, hey, they're coming back. They came back and they're here, man. All right? And it's cesspool, you know, that's uh, America. Yep. Uh, let me get a. Matthew chapter 3 and verse 8. That's right. Bring forth them for fruits, meat for repentance. That's right. So, hey, we're looking for fruits, uh, meat for repentance, man. People that's gonna gonna repent, aka the elect, man. You know? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, yes, hey, right back. Yes, like you. Matthew 3 and 8. Bring therefore, bring forth therefore, it's like it. Bring forth therefore, fruit meet for repentance. That's right. So, hey, we're not out here uh, to talk to, you know what I'm saying, commit niggas, man. Uh, you know, you hardcore Islam niggas, man. Yep, yep. Uh, you know, uh, you hardcore Christian motherfuckers, yep, man, that's yep. setting your ways yep. and that, you know, blaspheme the Lord yep. all the time yep. because you mad that we uh, have the truth, man. All right. All right? And you want to defend says Ray Boys, you want to uh, defend uh, just that a Christian will fight you, man. Hell yeah, Hell yeah. motherfuckers are, are put, uh, are trying to put hands on you for talking yeah. about that Jesus, Hell man. Yeah, man. You know, and, and niggas like that, we can't, we, we yeah, ain't rocking with, man. man. Hey, we we looking for fruits, meat for repentance, yeah, man. For People that's gonna come up humble. Yep. People that's gonna yep. shut their mouth when we yep. talking, man, right. and not try to uh, uh, teach us. Teach us. Yeah, that's right. some, some stupid shit. Yeah. White, where white come from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, you just want to sound like you're smart. Yeah. Like you know something. Yeah. Yeah. No, man, we looking for, hey, fruits, meat, for get off. Uh, 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 matter of fact, let me go like, tell me what's wrong, but we just going to say it. Uh, same chapter, Matthew 3, uh, 1, in those days, John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea. It's like in those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's what we're telling our people, man. Repent ye. Yep. All right? Uh, Matthew 4 and 17. Matthew chapter 4 and 17. 
from that time, Yahweh began to preach and say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. See? And now, yeah, see, now when Yahweh talked, man, it just wasn't him just saying uh, uh, vain or empty words, man. You had to really listen because the uh, words mean uh, they carry weight, man. All right, they carry weight. And especially this right here because this uh, goes true and it means even more right now. He said a thousand years ago, but hey, right now it's holding true. And, and it's more valid than ever, man. Hey, repent ye before the kingdom of heaven is ahead. That's why we are here, man. The Lord said, go to the highways and the mountains and the uh, edges to compel my people uh, to come to the marriage, man. To bid my people to the marriage. And that's why we, that's why we are here. That's why our brothers be out here, uh, you know, out wherever they are, week in and week out. Man. You know, we, hey, this is commanded of us. Second Peter three and now. Book of Second Peter, chapter three, the verse nine. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, yeah. as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That's right. So, hey, uh, Yahweh said that uh, He doesn't have any pleasure with anyone, uh, uh, with any of His people dying. Man. Yeah. All right, He wants He wants the people to repent, but if you're not going to repent, that's on you, and you're going to have to take what's coming to that, and that's that, that's death, man. That what comes with that, and that's death. So, hey, when we say, okay, the Lord is going to kill uh, a, a lot of Israelites, it's true, but that doesn't mean that uh, he wants to do it. Like the scripture just said, he wants He wants his people to repent, but it just so happens that, uh, you know, uh, the majority of them is not going to repent on this side. And the Lord going to have to do what he got to do. That's, that's the man, you know, he's going to have to do what he got to do. All right? Purge, purge, purge two thirds of the uh, nation of Israel. So they come back in their right mind in the kingdom. Like, man, y'all forcing the Lord's hand pretty much. Look at Matthew chapter 9, verse 13. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice, for I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners. To repentance. That's right. So, uh, ones of you that think that uh, you ain't going off, because um, everybody sins, man. I don't care if you believe it or not. Like the brother, uh, you know, had that example about, you know, the so-called uh, Jake that, uh, you know, um, so-called think he's doing everything right, you know, um, not eating pork, um, you know, doing this and doing that, but still getting tape ups, still letting the woman roll over you, still doing this, still doing that, man. Hey, you gotta come. You gotta come to the Lord full circle, man. You can't just uh, cause that uh, that example that the brother said. That 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 individual is basically uh, going off the world standards of what righteousness is, man, or what Christianity standards is, not the standards of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Cause it's so easy to be like, you know what? I'm gonna quit smoking. I'm gonna go to church. I ain't even gonna drink. Well, drinking is lawful, but you know, I'm not gonna drink. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do that. You know. And then that's the little prerequisite of uh, being holy, man, of uh, being, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Being without sin, which is, it goes way uh, deeper than that. It's about worshiping the right power, man. You could not give no blood license to sin, but you could be slipping up and worshiping the right power and be better off than a man that's so-called not doing things and worshiping the damn wrong power, man. Because you're still having that chance to repent. The Lord can put it in your mind to snap it, man. Well, I'm going to go up a little bit from what you read, brother. Matthew 9 and 10. And it came to pass, as the house of Shai sat at deep in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. That's right. So your house of Shai was in the midst of the sinners, man. The hardcore sinners. And you had the uh, uh, the uh, disciples looking at him kind of crazy, like, hey, uh, Lord, why are you sitting here with him? I mean, even uh, Matthew was a tax collector, man. You know, Matthew, the uh, apostle, uh, the apostle Matthew was a tax collector. Man. So that shows you that we all come from you know different walks of life, especially over here now because we all uh, were introduced to sin, man. Yep. We all began sinning. Like no one of us um, ate kosher, um, got sac uh, got uh, circumcised on the ninth day. You know what I'm saying? We were born uh, in the sin, right, man. we was born in the sin, man. Like uh, I think that's in Wisdom of Solomon. Um, who sin was I? Uh, 
I was in my mom's room, something like that. I seen that. Uh, rough paraphrasing, but yeah, man. Yep. Uh, verse 11. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto the disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? That's right. So they asked him, they said, uh, Yahushua, why are you eating with the sinners? All right. Verse 12. But when Yahushua heard that, he said unto them, They that behold need not a physician. But they that are sick. That's right. That's why Yahweh Shai came, man. To heal those that are sick. Because if you are already whole, you don't need a physician. So if you think you're whole, you don't need a physician. Alright? But the ones that wanted to repent, that knew that he was the Lord, and knew that they were doing wrong and wanted to repent, and the Lord had mercy on them. Alright? But the wicked scribes and Pharisees, he would cuss them out. Be like, man, y'all don't want to do, y'all don't want to come to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't want to repent. But the ones that actually wanted to repent, even though they was doing something, you know, uh, they were sinning and stuff like that, the Lord had mercy upon them. And that ultimately falls upon us as a whole today. Because right? like I said, we all had demons on us at one point in time. We all uh, were in sin. All right? And no no one Israelite that's in this uh, truth uh, or in this faith can say that they've been an Israelite their whole life. They never ate anything abominable. They never uh, worshiped any other God. They knew the name of your house when they can speak. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. None of us can say that. So we all need to have a Sabbath. All right? Uh, let me get uh, Joel 2 and 13. <clears throat> I'm going to read Revelation 3 and 19 where I get that. Uh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chastise. Be zealous thereof and repent. So, hey, if you're going through hell with the black Latinos and Native Americans, we've been going through holy hell, all right? But that's because the Lord loves us, man. The scriptures say that the Lord loves us when we chastise us, okay? That's why you, you can have uh, Esau smoke eight, eight packs of cigarettes a day and still live to be 80 and 90, man. But then Jake get high blood pressure. Oh. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, yeah, that's why you can have me uh, do all these abominable uh, things, man. You know, and still live, uh, you know, a, a so called full life. But then Jake uh, died. Uh, five. Two. Like a bullet. You know that's judgment, man. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's how you know that the Lord uh, is really he loves us and deals, deals with us as a that ass on the first, man. Yeah. Jake always gets that ass on the first, yeah. Jake always get Jake in prison. Jake get caught in the crime. Uh, uh, Madoff, uh, that nigga off that Esau, Edomite Madoff for, uh, was scamming people 20 million. Uh, he's he doing like five years or whatever, whatever. Jake caught scamming 30 years. 30 years, yeah. Yeah. Nope. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 25 years. Um, you got that? Joel well, chapter 2 and I started at verse 13. And rend your heart and not your garments. Mm -hmm. And turn unto Yahweh your power, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and repented him of the evil. That's why it says rend your heart, man. That means to uh, be sorrowful in your mind, man. You know, that uh, Hebrew word la'ab, which means mind, which, you know, you put there for heart. All right? It doesn't mean rend your garment, don't. Don't tell you your physical garment. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah, nah, man. Feel sorrowful in your mind, in your heart, that you went off from Yahweh Shah, man. All right? And then come back. Because that 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 uh, sorrow, that sorrow, I think uh, Paul said, um, I repent that I drove y'all sorry, sorrow. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I keep on reading that. Uh, Joel 2 and 14. So I thought 13 again. Joel 2 and 13. And bring your heart and not your garments. And turn into your power, your power. For he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. Verse 14. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offer and a drink offer unto your power. All right? So that Lord asking the question, who knoweth if he will return and repent? 
But the Heavenly Father know, man. He know if you're going to uh, the Spirit going to come unto you to repent and uh, turn back into Him. It's about to be a family of the word, man. That's why we're out here to, you know, uh, get our people to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments before it's too late, man. All right, to repent before it's too late, you know, because once the Lord shuts this word up, it's not going to be available no more. The scriptures talk about a time of repentance not being available. Anymore. So you have Jake going through so much stuff that when it's time, when they want to repent because they uh, about to die of starvation, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be too late, man. You know? It's going to be too fucking late. All right, so, uh, shit. So we're coming to, hey, hey, we can't read this enough, man. Like I was uh, going into my uh, in transit, little whoop -de whoop man. I was a uh, little video. I was like, hey, man, it's certain uh, scriptures that come out all the time, man. And that's going to keep coming out all the time, man, because they hold so much weight and so much power. Okay. This is Jeremiah 30 and 7. It gets more powerful every time we read it, man, because we're getting closer to that day of uh, Jacob's trouble, you know. And then when it finally does hit, man, that thing going to... Hey, Jeremiah 30 and 7, man. You know what I'm saying? That's going, hey. So we, we're on the verge of Jacob's trouble, man. That's why we're out here, and that's why we do the lessons, all right, uh, in the meantime. But, you know, well, that's why we're out here in the face of the people to uh, get them to repentance, man. Like the scriptures say, uh, bid them to the marriage, you know. Um, Cause hey, it's gonna be a famine of, of, of the word. And not only uh, the words of the Most High Man, it's gonna be a famine of actual bread. All right, you got Bill Gates buying up farms and stuff like that. Why? And one would ask, why is he buying up all these farms, man? So he can starve your ass out. So he can shut them down farms. <laughs> he buying them just to shut them down. Cause hey, hey, they they want their NWO, their New World Order, uh, to happen, man. I mean, it's not gonna happen, but they are gonna try their hardest, man. They are gonna try their damnedest. And part of that is using food as a, as leverage to, you know, uh, for that hour, when that hour of temptation comes to take that kind of mom. <laughs> uh, Amos 8 and 11, behold, the days come, said Yahweh power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Yeah, let me get sick. Just to back up the point that, all right, uh, the Lord said that, um, he said, not a famine of, of bread, like physical bread, but it was hearing the word. But then on top of that, you also going to have a physical bread. I mean, physical famine of, uh, of bread, man. All right, second edge is the uh, 15 chapter talks about um, them spoiling each other's houses because of the lack of bread. What you what you think that means, man? What, the lack of, uh, the, which one you want to bring that out? Or? Yeah, the lack of, uh, okay. Second there is 15 and 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, yep. but shall destroy their houses with the sword yep. and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread uh -huh. and for great tribulation. There you go. So, hey, Jacob's trouble is going to be a time like no other, man. All right, Daniel's 12 chapter talks about it, man. A time like no other where it's going to be so bad, man. Hey, the archangel, archangel Micah Allah, going to have to jump in and step in, man, to, to stand up for his people, man. The top. You know, uh, uh, the top archangel, you know, under your house side, of course, but the top archangel, man. the one of war, you know, he gonna have to step in. It's gonna be so bad, but even before that, the times are gonna be so bad, man, because your about Shem Yahweh Shah is gonna uh, withdraw his Holy Spirit from this place, man. So everything, all these demons that's just waiting 
to uh, you know, wreak havoc and all this evil that's just ready to hit this earth can't do it right now because the Lord has his prophets out there and has his spirit out on the earth right now. All right. Matthew 24 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And those are the times that we are about to come into. Times that were like never before uh, in earth, man. The brother was quoting uh, in Daniel, man, and says that, man. Uh, it's going to be a time like no other so bad that the uh, angel, uh, the heart angel, is going to have to come up, man. That's why it's best for us to what? Uh, seek the Lord while he may be found. Brother, going into a famine of the word, which meaning that the word is not going to be uh, accessible, man. It's not going to be as uh, yeah. what is the, readily available. Yeah, readily available, man. How it is now, you can pick up your phone, yeah. listen to the word. Videos. You can pick up the word, type in a Bible scripture that you forget. Yeah. All right. You got the uh, uh, the the prophets on the street corner. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, in, in all the cities, man. Yeah. You can pick up your phone and call an elder, call a brother. Yeah. Hey, it's not going to be that available, man, hearing this word, man. So you, it's best to what? Do this. Isaiah 55 and 6. Uh -huh. Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Maybe. Call ye upon him while he is near. That's beautiful, see? Because it's going to be a time where the Lord ain't going to be near, man. That's right. All right? Yeah, bro. And a time where you ain't going to be able to seek him, man. Mm -hmm. So now's the time to seek him, man. Yep. Oh, let me get there. Uh, now, uh, what is that? Romans 13 and 11. I got you. Because it's nearer than before, man. Yep. Yep. Hey, it's high time to wake up out of, out of this slumber that, okay, we're not even holding it against you, Jake. Yep. We saying, okay, you ignorant. You ain't you. Ignorant. Hey, hey, the white man got us. Yeah. Yep. He's, he's the devil that the Bible speaks of. We can break it down yep. to you. Like, he's, the, he, he's, he's very clever. He's very wise. The Lord, he's cunning. He has the characteristics of a snake, man. Mm -hmm. All right? So he's very cunning, knows when to strike. Mm -hmm. But... He um he he like he like he beguiled Eve, he beguiled us, man. Yep. Okay, had us worshiping uh, all these different idols, you know what I'm saying, and, and going off. So it's not even on you, man. Yep. We 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 just gotta we blaming it yep. on each other. Uh, yep. Yep. And we just saying that okay, you got duped, yep. just come back, and then the Lord's gonna get that recompense for you, man. Yep. We've elevated from cut and take out what we see. Him. Yeah. We, hey, you know that's wrong according to the scriptures. Right. You know that that's not supposed to be. Yeah. That's the way we on with Jake now, man. Exactly. We ain't pointing at him, cussing out, saying, thinking we better than them or whatever, whatever. We right. know. We hey, still, yeah. We, hey, do you not? We know you probably don't know. 90%, yeah. you don't know. You don't know. But that's what we yeah. saying. The word is so out. You should know, man. You got to know, man. Right. Just, but, like, uh, just like when the brother uh, was asking, uh, we was uh, interacting with that Jake at the beginning of the lesson. Um, and the brother, I know he wasn't being condescending, but we always ask, we'd be like, uh, you have heard that you have heard this? Yeah, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Not being kind of not trying to play yeah, you, yeah, not but a lot of people yeah. don't know about it. Yeah, it's just sad. Brother, brother, but we yeah. just be like, oh, you, you yeah, ever yeah, heard it? And yeah, then like he, said, he said, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He said, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yo, I got that for you, call for right. Romans 13 and 11. That's right. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Yeah. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. There you go. There you go. Another one of the scriptures that. Yeah. Uh, put on the uh, repeat, yeah. and every yeah. time you say it, and every time that the day passes, and the closer that we get to it, it has more validity and it holds more power. It holds, it holds more power every day, man. We're gonna wake up tomorrow, Lord's willing, wake up, and we're gonna be able to closer to that day man. we get closer to the day that Yahweh about shot is gonna rip draw his spirit like the brother was going into where he's not gonna be able to be found anymore man so you gotta get this knowledge now man even with us brothers that's in the know yep. man we gotta watch these videos yep. man we gotta, go we gotta stay yep. plugged up in the spirit yep. go hard man we got, and especially with some us some of us brothers got that don't have the best memory yep. man we gotta drill this yep. shit yep. in us because yep. we ain't gonna have no Bibles yep. uh you know what I'm saying uh, I mean it's a it's a chance we might not have a Bible. Yeah. We might not be on the run. Yeah. But what's gonna be our uh you know that strong tower? Right, uh the name of the Lord and what's right. gonna be uh Isaiah 33 and 6, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We're gonna have to um on these scriptures we're gonna have to depend on man. Right. Like say we in the uh we in the wilderness or something, right? Yeah. And we about to die of starvation. Yeah. What what you gonna think of the ones where um, the Lord talks about us being faithful right. and he's gonna feed us, man. Uh, what Isaiah uh, 65 comes to mind, man. They, sh they shall be hungry, but you shall eat. They shall be thirsty, but you shall drink. You know, that's one of my favorite ones. That, and if I don't remember none, I'm gonna remember that one. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, and it's, 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 it's plenty on that. The Lord said he's going to take care of his elect in that time. Man. But but the most important thing is faith because we don't know if we are part of the elect. So you can't just say we're part of the elect and wait on a bucket of chicken to fly out. The, 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 uh, you know what I'm saying? You got to have the faith. Like, All right, I believe we're part of the elect. Lord, I've been doing this work. Bible shop, Bible shop, feed me. Get me through. And then if, if, if it's real, you're going to do it. But you got to believe. Oh, yeah. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. That's right. So hey, our salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. Even now, man. Hey, we only got a couple more prophecies to be fulfilled before it's time to get on the uh, go home, man. All right. And that's why brothers trying to go hard, do the best they can, man. You know what I'm saying? Praying, doing the lessons. Uh, uh, and prayer is a, it's the most important thing, man. Praying and staying leaked into your house. It says the night is far spent. The day it is, is at hand. What day? The day of the Lord, man. The day of the Lord is at hand. It said, let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And with that armor of light, that will conquer us and the spirit of your house by the outside. It says, let us walk honestly as in the day, not in riot and drunkenness. Not in chamber and wantonness, not in strife and evil, but put ye on the house, the Lord, the house of Masyak, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Yeah, and that, and that word wantonness uh, goes into um, basically not being disciplined, man. So we got to be disciplined in this thing, you know. We can't just be falling for every winter doctrine. Yeah, we got to yeah. stay. We got to stay on our on our uh, uh, circle, man. We gotta stay on our ten uh, with this with the scriptures, man, and that that goes to not listening to and not being uh you know uh, enamored. I mean, not uh in awe by these uh other philosophies and these other doctrines that might sound good. You know what I'm saying? They might be pleasant to your ears. Hey, don't listen to that shit too long, cause then if you listen to that shit too long, you gonna fall for it, man. Stay right, right, and it's and it's cool to watch other camps, but you can't be watching uh other camps more than you watch. Uh, the you know the GMS and men about the ones that are teaching the right doctrine, man. And this is for the newer uh, ones because uh, hey, brothers know that. Brothers, we can watch a GOCC or uh, IUIC for edification to do a lesson, yeah. all right, or just yeah. to be like, man, these motherfuckers, these, these brothers going off. Yeah. But we're not getting anything yeah. from it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're not learning what we're we're not uh, building our, our foundation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. Hopefully, hey, we chopping our sword out there. Chopping sword. That's perfect. Yep. Jeremiah 15 and 1. Yeah. Then said Yahweh unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, mm -hmm. yet my mind could not be toward this people. Okay, two great men of Yahweh, by Shimmy Yahweh stood before him, man, but hey, two thirds is not going to get it, man. All right? Because, hey, they're not going to get it, man. Got a king and a prophet. Yep. That represents it. A king and a prophet, man. Yep. All right, of Israel. Yep. Got a king of Israel and a prophet, and these people still, uh, uh, they, uh, yeah, his mind could be toward his people. Exactly. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. Yep. And this shall come to pass if they say of peace, with the south we go forth, mm -hmm. then shalt thou tell them, just said Yahweh, such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword. And such as are for the famine to the famine, mm -hmm. and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. So there you go. It's gonna come a time where hey, uh, you you should be inquiring now, like what should I do? And what we'll tell you, we'll say you repent, okay, and lead you to the gates of the nobles, man. All right, lead you to uh, the, the, the the apostles of GMS. All right, but it's gonna come a time where. Um, Yeah, because uh, the Lord is going to have it to where the uh, prophets won't even be able to speak or uh, edify you anymore, man. All right? Uh, it's a secret for you. Yeah, because pretty soon, man, you're going to have Jake's inquiring, you know, when, when they're in, in full anguish, man, like ready to perish, ready to die. Because they don't know, you know, what's next, man. 
All right? It's going to be so bad out here. But then you're going to have the prophets that's been out here, you know, uh, us brothers for, you know, a little minute we've been out here doing this thing. And even, uh, you know, our elders and apostles that's been out here 30, 20, 10 plus years telling y'all to repent. Hey, the Lord is going to uh, turn their hearts cold, man. And basically going to say, hey, you're either going to die by famine, you're either going to die by the sword, or you're going to die by the beast of the field, you're going to die by this. Yeah, it's Ezekiel 3 and 26. Yeah. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shalt not be to them on the roof, for they are a rebellious house. That's right. So it's, hey, the Lord is getting fed up with the nation of Israel, man. Right now, that prophecy isn't being fulfilled because, hey, we out here, we are proving, rebuking, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, edifying. All right. But there's going to come a time where even if you're talking to one of your dearest family members of your friends, the Lord gonna have to he gonna jumble your brain away. You won't yep. even be able to explain yeah, to them or break it down. Yeah, you're gonna say some crazy stuff like this. Uh Just, low key, it might happen sometimes now. Yeah. You might be you trying do. you want to kick it, it to somebody, you yeah. kinda like and then, then you leave. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. that's in the command. Yeah. Yep. That's, 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 that's the Lord, happen. the Lord yeah. might be like, nope. Amen. I don't want yeah. nothing to get it. That's, uh, give, me, give me that Isaiah 69. All right, let me bring on a little bit more of this. Uh, it says verse 27, but when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, This said Yahweh power. He that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear. For they are a rebellious house, and that's the kind of vibe the Yahweh about sending out sound. And that's the vibe we should be on, brothers. All right, if he hear, he gonna hear. Yeah. If he gonna rebel, he gonna rebel, man. All right, he's he says, gonna forbear, he gonna forbear. He's gonna hear, he gonna hear, man. Let's right. talk about the discourse of a fool. Being irksome and um, Titus, yeah. the book of Titus talking about after the second or third uh, ammunition, yeah. reject him, man. Yeah. You know, so we know not to spend our time or spend yeah. all our time yeah. trying to break it down to Jake, trying to beg yeah. Jake, and you know, accept the Lord, man. It's either gonna happen, we're gonna throw something out there, and you run with it, plant that little seed, and let it grow, or hey, it's not meant to be, man. It's a dust, yeah. you know what I'm saying. But we not we not uh, stressing ourselves out no more, man. And it's gonna come to the point where it ain't even nothing gonna even be said. <laughs> okay, let me get. Uh... Give me my segment of sixteen. Nine. Yeah. Nine yeah. Nine. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, because um bring out this precept because the brother was when the brother said people should be inquiring um about repenting, acquiring about the Lord basically, mm -hmm. inquiring about being saved. We're saying this destruction is coming, this death is coming. The people should be inquiring how to be delivered from this. Second Ezra 9 and 13. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. Mm -hmm. And when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is, and for whom the world is created. Yeah, so we're not out here trying to uh get every so-called black Latino Native American that look like a black Latino Native American. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We not we not out here trying to do that, man. All right, we let the we gonna let the spirit do what it do because right. the spirit is, is the ultimate discerning, right. and the spirit is gonna draw in who is meant to draw in, man. Oh yeah. Because hey, the Lord has uh, scriptures. Satan that certain of his people not even gonna get it, man. Right. Isaiah 6 and 9. Yeah. And he said, Go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. 
and see indeed but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Yeah, and that's hey, that's the job of them angels, man. Yeah. All right, those, those angels that you don't see, yeah. blocking, making your uh, ears heavy and your eyes where they can't see, you know, if it's not meant for you to get, man. Because if you, because, uh, yeah, you know it's divine intervention because yep. this is the truth. Yep. And if we say this to our people, if they don't get it, it's because the Lord That's got right. it to where they don't get it. Man. Yep. We got it. Yep. Yep. And in light wise matters because the Lord chose for us to get it. Yep. And that's what you got to understand this faith, man, as you grow. Mm -hmm. You got to understand and know it's that the Lord have, have angels like, blocking people from understanding the truth right. and getting the truth, man. Yeah. Well, All right. Hotel. But I got that uh, second. Second Ezra, Second Ezra chapter 15, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. That's what we do. We're speaking the words of prophecy. The Lord put this in our mouths. We're not, this is not something we made up or came up with, man. This is from the Lord. Hey, you know, Amos 3 and 7, man. You know, surely the Lord do of none, but you'll get secret to the service of prophecy. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Yep. And see, these words are faithful and true, man. All right. Verse 3, fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Yeah, let not, just because a nigga don't believe it, hey, don't, don't, uh, don't let your faith waver, man. You know, just because uh, a cigarette smoker don't believe uh, the names of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, or that we're the Israelites, or, you know, so on and so forth. A, a mole a mo don't believe it. Yeah. Oh, oh well, man. Oh well. You ain't most of uh, verse 4, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. That's right. So, hey, these are unfaithful niggas are going to be the same ones. That's what got a shame on their face while they either get, uh, they're dying from their yeah. uh, starvation. Yeah. If you in truth having their way with them, yeah. with their families in front of their faces. Yeah. You know, hey, the Lord, y'all going to find out how cold blooded the Lord is. Man. All right. When you see uh, Jake dying, how they going to be dying out here? Yeah. Yeah. Like, man. Lord. Uh, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more at touching their wickedness, which they profoundly commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. That's right. So the Lord doing this is actually uh, doing you a favor, man. Because if you keep going on, you will keep just doving in wickedness and everything like that. So the Lord putting y'all to death is, you know, is basically grace, man. Especially if you if you were Jake and you died before Jacob's trouble, you know, instead of you know being around for for the, the last shebang, man. Hey, and, and yeah, oh man, hey, that's that's a form of grace, man. It says, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cries unto me, yeah. and the souls of the just complain continually. Yep. Yeah. And, yeah. and therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. For then, all my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. That's right. So, hey, he's not going to suffer us to uh, dwell in this land anymore, man. All right, man, hey, we spiritually departed from this place, man. Ultimately, looking for the ultimate salvation that's coming by those uh, chariots. Get up out of here, you know? Verse 10, or well, verse 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch our arm and smite Egypt with things before and will destroy all the land thereof. That's right. Ah! Uh, Ain't no telling. <laughs> Ain't no telling, man. Yeah. Uh, verse 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch our arm and smite Egypt with plague as before and will destroy all the land thereof. That's how we know this is what? Spiritually, uh, Egypt, man. The Lord said he's going to smite Egypt again. All right? Plagues as before. As, as before. So those plagues are going to come to Babylon the Great, aka uh, Babylon the oh, America, aka Babylon the Great, aka uh, Egypt, man. Yeah, man. And proof of that is uh, Revelation 11. 
It says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God shall bring the punishment. The Lord is going to bring that fire, man. Right. We're going to end it with uh, the words of Yahushua, man. Yahushua was talking about uh, Jacob's trouble in these uh, days to come, man. You know, and this is out of his own mouth. The Lord, the safe mouth. But we're going to end it on a few words from him about Jacob's trouble. All right. Uh, I'll start right to the point. Matthew 24 and 4. And Yahweh shot answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Amashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So, yeah, we know the end is not yet, man. We know all these... uh proxy wars and all these uh you know um con conflicts coming up between these uh the nato and uh you know these other nations and stuff like that man hey we're not troubled because we know the end is not yet all right these are wars and rumors of wars we yeah we don't i don't i, I don't know that it's war until some missiles start flying <laughs> you know what i'm saying uh, people start dying like yeah, you know what i'm saying and right now they just whooping man okay uh, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, yeah. and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Yeah, we're seeing all that, man. Earthquakes in diverse places, uh, famines all over the world, you know, pestilences. You know, man, we're seeing all this. This is all coming true, man. Like I said, these are some of the scriptures that, you know, uh, get read over and over and over again, but hey, that still doesn't take away the validity of them, man, or the power of them. <laughs> All these are the beginning of sorrows. Uh -huh. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Yeah. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Yeah. And because of because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And we seeing that, man. You can't even drive. On, on your damn streets without somebody blowing the horn, mm -hmm. yeah, man. Hey, Jake is treacherous and is fucking killing each other, man. Yeah. Setting each other up, you know. Hey, we, man. We, hey, love the love of me is glass of cold, man. And uh, a little further, the brother was talking about um, many coming against us, man, because we believe in the name of the Lord, man. And that great insurrection is coming, man. All right. So hey, you gotta stay rooted in this faith. You gotta be deep rooted. Deep rooted in this faith, you gotta know what you're into. You gotta know what you're into, man, because when something comes up, you don't wanna get offended or you don't wanna bitch up and, and lose your faith because you didn't know what you was into, man. All right, hey, like the scripture say, be fully persuaded in your own mind. And because the iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall be stone. But he that endure to the end, same shall be saved. There you go. So hey, you gotta do it to the end, man. All right, you gotta keep repenting. All right, keep uh, you know, uh, praying to the Lord. You know, keep doing the things that you know is conducive to you building your spiritual bank account with the Lord, man. All right, reading the lessons, staying plugged in with the brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? And just being a man of the Lord, man. And that that includes having your household in order. You know what I'm saying? Having everything in order to make your journey on this uh in this truth uh you know less uh less strenuous man all right you don't want to have to be worried about uh, of course we got financial trouble and stuff but man to the best of your ability get your stuff in order you know so where you can just dedicate everything to the lord and you know you don't have to worry about no bullshit and the scriptures say if a man can't uh a man can't rule his own household he can't you know uh roughly paraphrasing he can't uh rule, yeah uh, verse 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the shall, world shall for a witness shall unto shall all nations, and then shall the end come. That's right, hey, hey. That's come to pass right there, man. You know, hey, this uh, this word has been reached into the four corners of the earth, man. All right, through the YouTube, through the unicorn, okay? Hey, every na every everybody has uh, access to this word, man. Uh, it says that's then the end will come. So, hey, the end is here, man. So, hey, that's it. Uh, repent if you are a black Latino or Native American, or if this word resonates with you, man. Repent, come back to the law, statutes, commandments, 
uh, you know, learn the names of the Lord. The, the name of uh, who you didn't call God is Yahweh, and likewise his son, the name is Yahweh Shah. Hey, uh, that's it. Hopefully that was edifying. We're going to give our honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who will. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the Lord's elect. Hey, until next time, Shalom. Shalom.